welcome to Freeway Moments. In this episode we're going to be looking at Google Maps and how we can add something like this to your Freeway web page. It's very easy and it just needs the Google Maps action which you'll find as one of the new features in Freeway 5. This tutorial uses Freeway Pro. Freeway Express users can follow on with most of the tutorial. So let's begin. Start by using the action tool to draw an instance of the Google Maps action on the page. When you've done this, you need to open the actions palette. So go to window and actions. We need a key so that the actions code works when we view the website in the browser. So we click sign up for a key, click the OK button in the dialog which appears and this will take us to Google's API registration page. You want to fill in the website URL and agree to Google's terms and conditions. When you've clicked the generate API key you can come back to Freeway and paste the API key into the actions palette. The action generates a preview but it requires a live internet connection to do this because it gets data directly from Google's servers. Now I'd like a map of Whitby, the one which is featured in the Bram Stoker novel Dracula on my web page. So I'll type in Whitby into the townstroke zip part of the action palette. We have to wait for the data to come back from Google and oh well that's not the Whitby I know. Uh, well, as the Whitby I know is in the UK, I'll try adding comma UK to the end of the name. Ah, that's more like it. That's the Whitby I know. I'm going to zoom in on this map a bit because we're a bit far out for my liking. Um, so we open up the controls part of the action palette and we move the default zoom up to about ooh, 15. And this will give us a more centralised map of the town. I'd also like to have it as a satellite image instead of just a map because that looks a bit more interesting and you can see all the buildings and I'm going to make the map just a little bit wider on the page. I'm going to use the controls part of the actions palette to control what we see in the map as well. I'm going to get rid of the small map overview which is in the bottom right hand corner of the map object so I switch that off in the actions palette but I would like to have a scale on the map so I'm going to switch that on that will give people a rough idea of how big or how small things are. We can also use a postal address or even a zip code as a location so let's put in a really famous one and see where it takes us. Let's just remove the Whitby one for a moment and wait for Google and there we have a satellite view of the White House. Let's zoom in just to make sure it really is the White House. Yeah that looks about right to me. Let's have a quick look at this in the browser. We go to file, preview and browser and choose Safari and yeah that, that, that works. I can pan around and uh, zoom in. Oops, there we go. That's quite a good view of the building from there too. I'd like to put a label on this map just to tell people what they're looking at. So back to the actions palette and if I open the marker part of the action and click on create marker I can type in a caption which is going to say the White House. Home of the President of the USA. I'm also going to choose a font. I'm going to choose a Vedana for this. And let's have a look at that in the browser again viewing in Safari we have a little bubble pops up and a marker which shows us what we're looking at. This part is for Freeway Pro users we can make the content and the appearance of the um, label a little bit more interesting so start by switching the CSS button on so it's a CSS layout and draw a layered HTML item on the page somewhere doesn't matter where really Again I'm going to put some text into this box, it's going to say pretty much the same as before. The White House, home of the President of the USA. The next thing I'm going to do is call up the inspector palette and I'm going to change the font of that to Vodana and I'm going to make it 12 points high. The next thing I'm going to do is to put a graphic in that text run. So 
put the cursor at the start, go to insert graphic item. I'm going to switch to finder and drag and drop an image which I've already got. Just position that so that it's cropped and framed nicely. There we go. And I'll float it to the left and give it a bit of a margin as well. I want to apply a link to some of the text in this box. So if I select the words the White House and open the hyperlink dialog window and paste in the White House URL, I've got my clipboard. Um, we now want to tell the Maps action that this is the marker we want it to use. So we go to Actions, Google Maps Marker. And now if we preview that in Safari, we'll see that the marker has now got the graphic and the linked text. And if I click on the linked text, that will take us to the White House's website. In this freeway moment, we have looked at adding a Google Map to your site and how to use a normal address to show the location on the map on your page. We have also looked at adding markers so you can point something out of interest on your map to other people and also provide links and images as well if you need to. Well that's all for now, there will be another moment along soon. So until then, goodbye. Mm -hmm.